Okay, so as you can tell, Christian and I are not in the office in Oakville today. We find ourselves in New York. Uh, so Christian, when was the last time you were here? I think over 10 years ago, so it's been a while. It's been a while. Okay. And I, this is my third trip in about as many months, so I should probably just move here, right? So uh, the reason we're here is that Capital Group, one of our favorite global investment managers and a great partner of ours, uh, they invited us to come and spend the day at the New York Stock Exchange. So we had a number of meetings yesterday. They had us in a boardroom all day, and we had panels and presentations, and we'll just talk about what some of them were and some of our initial takeaways. So one of the first panels we had was about uh, an update from some of their investment managers on the global investment process. Any things that uh, you liked from that particular one? Well, I think from that panel, it just really affirmed their approach that we've been longstanding supporters of, and um, their view certainly is that market breadth over the last 10 years, and this is something we've spoken about, has been very narrow, very narrow. so it's been focused on a lot of U.S. stocks, a lot of hyper-growth stocks, and now they're really seeing um, under the surface how international investing can come back into the fold. The, then they moved to a panel on dividend investing yeah. and how they've got a very interesting mandate we'll talk about in a minute. So any key takeaways from the panel with the managers around dividends and the power of those things in portfolios? Yeah, so their focus was really not on just the preservation of capital, but getting constant streams of income over time as a hedge against inflation and as a way to support your lifestyle spending needs over time as well. And so that's something I know, Darren, you've been a long supporter of is yeah. dividend growing companies and what's nice about them is uh, people get conflated a lot of times of dividend growth and dividend paying companies is not um, growing from a capital side and just paying out dividends but really they dispelled this notion of splitting the market between value and growth yes and, and they see a lot of value under the surface in dividend paying entities and and how they complement and protect your portfolios over time one of the things about dividend investing to me, and we've been big fans of this, and it's been really a hallmark of what we do, they talked about how that strategy's been a little out of favor in yeah. the last few years with interest rates going low and, and really the market getting narrower. And we'll see if we can get some of the charts and slides and maybe do another conversation about that. But they were saying that the, uh, the move now to get back to that traditional uh, portfolio of dividend investing is really going to be in vogue. So the good news is we're already good at it. Uh, they also were discussing a global uh, dividend mandate that they have, a world dividend leaders mandate that we don't currently have access to at Raymond James, but uh, we'll be working with the capital group people in our back office to see if we can get that on our platform because that's had a lot of success for the U.S. advisory team. That, so we're going to see if we can get that to come to us. Uh, we were successful in getting the global equity mandate onto our platform, uh, so we'll see if we can get uh, two successes in a row with them. Uh, we had updates from other portfolio managers. We had a nice uh, regulatory and business update from the president of Capital Group Canada, and we had a nice surprise. Turns out you guys are friends. Yeah, we've uh, we've known each other uh, for a little while. We haven't connected in just because of COVID, and it's been a few years. But it was nice for a change to finally introduce someone to Darren because Darren is very well connected, obviously, and and you've had an opportunity to introduce me to many people over the last few months. So. That was a nice little surprise for me to finally introduce you, but it was it was really a great experience to, to reconnect with a lot of people and just as a proxy of not only getting all the information from the event, but seeing people that we haven't seen in a while. It was really good. And it was just one more connection we've got with Capital Group that was great. Uh, and then they, they closed it off by uh, having a dinner with us at the, on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. So they closed it down. Uh, they, they set it up just for us. So we had a whole evening and we'll put up some pictures uh, uh, of what we did there. That was a really, really special and I think a once in a lifetime opportunity. So we had a really good experience so far, didn't we? No, it was fantastic. I was mentioning to you, so over 10 years ago when I came with my parents, I made sure to drag them over there to the New York, New York Stock Exchange and take a picture with the bull. So it was a nice full circle moment to actually be inside and, and have that dinner. And it was, it was just great to, to see how it's all set up. and. You know, we see it on TV, but it was a nice experience it in person. Well, you're with me today for, for the next little walk. We're going to the airport. So maybe I'll get your picture with Spider-Man. You got the charging bowl last time. Maybe we'll get Spider-Man or Minnie Mouse. They're all running around here. So anyway, with that, uh, thanks for coming on the trip with me, yeah, Christian. Thank you, thank you for watching. Uh, as I say, when we get some of the charts in the graphs, we'll include those in our next economic recap. So for now, we'll be tourists before we head back to the airport. So great. thanks Take for watching. Everyone.